Mikey has been supplying the NBA with their jerseys for the last few seasons. I'm the Jersey Jaguar and in today's video I'm going to go in detail the differences between Swingmans and Authentics. I'm also briefly going to go over replicas, but it's just going to be for a few minutes to go over the basics of replicas as well. The premise and the focus is going to be on the Swingmans and the Authentics. We're going to look at the materials, sizing, and a full comparison and what the purposes of these are and what they're good for. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start really briefly with the replica line. The replica line are only going to run you about 80 bucks. However, the quality difference is significant compared even to the Swingman, drastically different compared to the Authentic. First and foremost, the replicas are heat pressed on just with vinyl, not vinyl twills, just heat pressed uh, vinyl. It's really thin vinyl. Uh, the tagging on the bottom is different, tagging on the top is different. These are Fanatics branded jerseys, not Nike guys. Uh, what can I say? If you want something to wear to the gym, maybe if you can find one on sale, get it maybe for a little present for somebody at the office stuff like that don't take these jerseys too seriously they're the lowest on the tier they hold the lowest value all right guys so we're going to go over both jerseys we're going to start off with the swingman in detail we're going to go a quick overview now and then with the close-ups we're going to go a little bit more into it so the swingman is going to be shorter all right and the shoulders are going to be a little bit wider than the authentic now one thing to note on the swingman is the material throughout the whole jersey is going to be the same and that is dry fit swingman material which is different than dry fit authentic material all right guys all the letters and numbers on these jerseys are going to be single layer but they are sublimated so that it gives a multi-layer effect there's not two layers here white and black it's just one layer of white that has black dye into it all right, guys, on both jerseys, the Nike logo and rear Jerry West logo, the 75th anniversary, are both raised on both jerseys. However, the rear logo is slightly different on the two. Now, again, you guys can see here the material on the letters and the numbers. Obviously, the name has no dye into it. Guys, now the biggest difference is going to be right here. All right, the biggest difference. On the back of the jersey and the front, there is no narrow angle with the shoulders. All right, here it's consistent throughout the whole jersey on the arm trim whereas on the authentic you're going to see it angles down and stops so the whole rear of the jersey and the front has the same consistent trim all right so the swingman are going to be good for getting an autograph and if you're a casual collector or if you're on a budget however guys you can find authentics on sale now something like this a city edition authentic is going to be more limited and more in demand so you're probably not going to find one on a discount but for most other authentics, you'll be able to get one at a decent price if you're patient or if you know how to find them. All right, guys, so this is the authentic jersey. Now, there is going to be a lot of variables within the authentic jerseys that vary by team and by season. All right. One thing that doesn't vary, though, is the consistent shape of the jersey. The front, like I said, has the trim going throughout the whole thing. But let's flip it around to the back. Every jersey is going to have the same cut for the authentics. It's only going to go about down a third way to a quarter way on the trim. It's going to stop. And then you're just going to have the straight body material for the rest of the jersey. All right, guys. Also on the Authentics, you're going to have the championship logo that you will not on the Swingmans. We're going to flip this guy back around briefly. Another thing to mention too, guys, you're going to see this in the close-ups. There's different materials, uh, textures throughout the jersey, all right? Uh, there, there are variations of dimple mesh for both the Authentic and the Swingman but they vary within those two, all right? This is going to be much more granular again. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Some teams are going to have supplemented colors into there as well as kiss cut or other variations of customization. Almost all of them, though, are going to be kiss cut with perforation, and perforation are going to be the small holes in the numbers. We're going to talk more about that later. Now, guys, in terms of the patch, most of the pro shops are going to have the patches on the jerseys. It's rare when you're going to find Fanatics or Nike give you the sponsor patches. They do have done it in the past, but it is rare. All right, guys. So again, the biggest difference is going to be the narrow, more narrow shoulders, the two inches added extra length, and the cut on the back. Also, the materials are different. These are actually sewn into the jerseys. All right, the authentics are good for the more serious collector, people who want a jersey that's close to or what the players wear. 
and something that's going to be overall more durable with better quality materials and a longer lasting jersey. All right, so with the close-ups, we're going to start with all the letters and numbers on the jersey. On the top, we're going to have the swingman. On the bottom, we're going to have the authentic. So as you guys can see on the top, it is sublimated vinyl twill that is heat applied onto the jersey. If you guys are wondering what sublimation is or vinyl twill, as well as what I'm going to explain next, I'm going to put a link in the description on a video that I made about different types of materials and methods used to customize jersey. Here on the bottom, we got the authentic. It is tackle twill and it is kiss cut now guys kiss cut is basically when you cut out the top layer of the twill to expose the bottom all right so it's two layers kiss cut beautiful stitching versus the heat applied sublimated vinyl twill okay so these are the front numbers the back numbers are going to be pretty much the same just a different size now we have the sublimated vinyl twill on the front of the number eight right here on the levine which is the swing man and then here on the authentic which is the derozan again same as the chicago board mark we have tackle twill that is kiss cut but now we also have perforation and guys perforation is when you use a laser cutter and laser cut tiny holes into the jersey to expose the layer under it all right guys so sublimated vinyl twill he pressed on kiss cut tackle twill all right moving on to the back on the name on the levine which is the swing man again sublimated sublimated vinyl twill this one's actually not sublimated though it's just straight white vinyl twill he pressed on and then right here we have a single layer tackle twill zigzag stitch directly into the jersey now guys these are both very very similar fonts the shape is the same just this one has slightly thinner stroke on the authentic all right so we got the insides of the jerseys now guys um this is the swing man you can see right here kind of the indentation from the number eight it's heat pressed on so nothing going through it guys this is not on every authentic this is specifically on the bulls authentics from this season and if I remember correctly, the season before, they also have the paper backing. This paper backing comes when you use a machine to mass produce many, many jerseys. All right, guys, so if you ever see this, it's not necessarily fake. It just means it's been through a machine that mass, mass produces a lot. And you're going to see that on uh, Nike NFL jerseys and some other jerseys throughout time. Mitchell and Ness, not necessarily to this extent. Most companies will peel this off and leave the insides, but that is pretty much the jersey guys on the inside all right guys so i just peeled off the center of the backing like like if you wear that i, I haven't worn this jersey yet but if i do it's going to annoy the heck out of me so i just peeled it off to uh to be on the safe side now all right just to give you guys a quick example this is the bulls 2022 2023 city edition jersey on the inside no paper backing it's still from the bulls pro shop however they just went a different route with where they got their jerseys from in terms of customization okay moving on to the trim so we got the trim on the side of the body basically the same thing here on the left we got the swing man again almost identical to the authentic which is here on the right the only difference is the authentic is slightly smoother and slightly slick uh silkier besides that exactly the same all right so on the back of the jersey we got the trim now this trim is going to be around the back and the neck guys so the uh, arm trim and the neck trim as i mentioned earlier the cut of the authentic is significantly different so on the arm trim on, on the back here you can see it only goes down about a quarter way and then it cuts off opposed to the swing man here which goes down the whole way throughout all right guys all right so looking at the trim as you can see we have the ribbed trim right here on the swing man uh thicker lesser quality right here on the trim nice sublimation there really silky really smooth it feels almost seamless all right guys big difference on the trim all right so we're going to get into the logos and the tags etc on both jerseys we're going to start with the 75th anniversary tagging guys another give about which one's authentic and which one's swingman is going to be the materials we're going to get into that later though so swingman tag slightly bigger you can see that it is less appealing to the eyes as to where it has a very thick border and jerry west is a little bit bigger than in the authentic in terms of holographic and the shape of that like 3d effect and the um material popping out it's about the same 75th is near the same so again guys it's just going to be the border that's the biggest difference all right nike tagging's pretty much identical nothing too much different there again we have the raised three-dimensional holographic 75th anniversary nike sign on both all right so what's consistent on almost every team on almost every city edition is that by the jock tag it has some kind of marking or details or city specific uh aspects to it on here it has all the bulls championship seasons again swingman on the top 
authentic on the bottom. Swingman, you can see it has two different colors, gold with a darker gold border. The same thing is on the authentic. However, authentic is much more raised, more three-dimensional, and it actually has sparkles in it versus the flat on the Swingman. All right, guys, jock tagging is going to be near the same. Um, on the authentic, it's going to say length plus two. It says authentic. On the Swingman, it doesn't. Obviously, guys, the Swingman's on top. You can see that. In terms of the rest of it, near the same. Maybe this one's a hair longer. Details are a little bit better on the Authentic as well. That metal strip is more shiny. All right, guys, Swingman's gonna be the, Swingman's gonna be on the left. Authentic's gonna be on the right. The Authentic has the sublimated Zenny patch, and the Swingman doesn't. Now, guys, again, this is from last year's Swingman, so that was the 2021-2002 Swingman and Authentic City Editions. This year, both have the Motorola patch, all right? So, guys, with that, um, it just depends on team and the season. Some Swingmans have the patches, some don't. Some Authentics do, some don't. All right, guys, so on the body material, again, we're going to have the Swingman on the left, Authentic on the right. Now, the body material on the Swingman is going to be the same dimple mesh. This is the dry fit material, though. It's basically a different version of a uh, dimple mesh. It's the same material on the whole jersey. Now, guys... Camera's picking up a little bit different color. However, in reality, these are near identical. Maybe the Authentic is a quarter shade, if that darker. Now, guys, on the Authentic, we have a grainier dimple mesh. Definitely has more grain and feel to it on part of the jersey. And then we have just straight, smooth, dry fit material. All right, guys, on the body. And as you can see here, there we go. You see? You can see the grain to the right here. And then on the front of the body, we have the smooth material right there. All right, so now we're at the bottom of the jersey. This smooth material is gonna go through the main center part of the body with the grainy part on the side and on the top. On the Swingman, again, it's gonna be the same dry fit material throughout the whole jersey. All right, guys, so we're gonna get into the measurements part of the video now guys keep in mind that i did a video on how to measure jerseys already so i'm not gonna get into full detail on how to measure the jerseys i'm just gonna go full detail on the measurements of the jerseys themselves so the swingman just like the authentic has little to no taper so i'm not gonna go over the body and the waist measurements in this video all right guys so pit to pit which is across the chest the most common type of measurement we have 22 and a half inches now top to bottom we're going to have 29 and a half inches shoulder to shoulder we're going to have 15 inches and right here on the hem we're going to have about three and a quarter inches all right so with the authentic measurements at pit to pit across the chest we're going to have 23 inches now top to bottom it is going to be a little longer hence on the tag it says plus two and it's going to be 31 and a half inches top to bottom now shoulder to shoulder we're going to have 14 inches so slightly more narrow but that hem is going to be the same at three and a quarter inches. All right, so as you guys can see, the biggest difference is going to be the length. The rest of it is pretty similar. The shoulders are a little bit more narrow on the authentic. However, the body is about a half inch wider. Nothing really to, uh, to get discouraged about. All right, guys, so I'm about 6'2", 187 pounds. And in the current Nike basketball, I wear a size 48, which is large. All right, in the other sports for Nike right now, it is an XL, but in basketball, for some reason, it is a large. Also, the jerseys that I was demonstrating in this video, obviously, are a size 48 large. And there you go. There's the three jerseys, two of which we covered in full detail. Now, guys... Each jersey has its purpose, like I said, and suits different people. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Guys, more importantly, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, there's a video you would like to see me do in the future. Don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to get it done. I'll see you at the next one.